what comes to my mind when I hear scientists, I hear, I think about smart men. Those funny shoes and like the, the apron and the big old goggles. Einstein looking here. Person in a lab coat with a little test tube with some chemicals in it. It would be a male. They have glasses and a lab coat. Like the chemicals, the, the tubes and stuff. Short, kind of spiky hair. So he kind of looked like a mad scientist. Just a complete nerd. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Meet the Young Science Correspondents, a unique combination of journalism and science-oriented high school students. Half the students come from Carl Hayden High School with a strong background in journalism, while the other half come from the Bioscience High School. What do you get when you mix this together? A formula for one interesting project. The goal of the program was to engage students in science-related topics. By combining journalism with science, the students were able to create science-related stories through several media platforms, including podcasts, video, blogging, and more. The project was documented throughout its duration to determine if the students became more interested in science. So did it work? Stay tuned to find out. Well, I was in, I was in the science club, but it was at the time, like, you know, I didn't have much interest in science. So it's like, I went into science club just to see how it was, and that didn't turn out too great. It was pretty plain. I'm not involved in anything, like, well, I just have classes, but not after school or anything else. Well, not much, because I didn't take chemistry. <laughs> this is something new to me. I'm not, like, a total, I'm not in love with science or anything, but I think if I give it a try, maybe I'll like it more. used to want to be a writer, but I'm not very good at it. I kind of gave up on that, but this is writing related, so it sounded like fun. And I'm getting paid, that's always nice. Because I can't get a real job, nobody wants me. I heard about this from my teacher, and he's like, you know, he was trying to get like everyone to sign up, so like, he was really like telling everyone about it for two days. And then he like came up to like where I was sitting, he's like, did you hear about this? Like, did you hear, like kind of like pushing me. Right. So I figured that he wanted me to do it, so I, I signed up, I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. I just really think it's interesting how they put science and journalism into one, how they're meshing it together. And it sounds really interesting because you usually don't think of science with journalism or writing. I expect to hopefully become a better writer and learn interesting things about science and what's going on in that field. Video would be something that I want to head towards. Well, I think I'm really going to learn something from it and it's going to be really fun. So I'm, I'm excited, yeah. For the next year, these students will get exposed to everything science and journalism. They'll hear from several guest speakers about topics like global warming, bark beetles, and multi-touch technology. They'll also get the chance to visit places like the Arizona Republic, No 99 Television, TJ, and the Phoenix Zoo. The students combine this new knowledge with their new media skills to create science stories. So let's check out what they did. Hey, my name is Regino Flores from the Arizona Science Center, and my team was invited to explore a new piece of technology that's getting popular around the world. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go check it out. So, I'm Monica Contreras here, and today we're at the Arizona Science Center, and we're going to be checking out the Mind Ball exhibit. So, let's go. Mind Ball is different from most games. Instead of using a controller to make movements, it's all in the head. Two brainwaves, that is. For today's cast, Regina and I were wondering what do our peers really think about science? And apparently, there hasn't been much research on whether teens like it or not. This is Estrada, reporting from the Arizona Science Center. I'm Ubardo Niebla. And we're the Young Science Correspondents. Thanks for watching. After one year of experimenting with the different types of media, the students were interviewed once again to see if their thoughts about science had changed. Now I find science more important rather than boring and just a school subject. I figured out that science is really everywhere. I, was, I interviewed a, a hydrologist from ASU and I didn't know a thing about what hydrology was, but 
getting to talk to him, you get to learn all this stuff. You get to know what type of what type of field this is, what it is you do in this field, and going back to it's going back to awareness where you just you just know what science is about, and you get to know more about it and different areas in it. It was just really interesting writing about science, and I, I didn't I didn't really write about science before, and it's really inter interesting because you have to like investigate most of the times, so. It's, it's grown a little bit more. Well, I've learned a lot about science more in depth than before, so I guess you could say that's one thing that I learned through it. I, got, I gained a little more interest in science in class, so yeah, I do feel more connected. I just know more about how the science community works, so I, I think that I am more connected now. I think everybody did really good, especially like the bioscience kids. They like. I read their stories and it's like, wow, they really are learning journalism and we're really learning science. And that was like the whole point of the program. They, they went in and taught me, well, when you're doing a story, you have to change things a bit to make it more appealing to the reader and make it easier to read. And it, they're very similar, actually, because you have to live curious to be a journalist and a scientist. So they tie in more than I thought they did. I think what the bioscience provided was, the skill, was research, research skills. Although journalism also has that, but journalism has more of a side of getting stuff out to people. For the Carl Hayden students, I saw them taking more interest in science, something that they never really thought about doing before. And for the bioscience kids, I did see them really kind of understand what different parts of journalism there are, that it was more than just newsprint, and that they kind of grasped that and really got into it. And I saw a lot of good teamwork. I really like the podcasting and the videos. My favorite was the capturing the video. That was pretty neat and editing it. It took a long time, but it was worth it at the end. My favorite was videos because, yeah, it was, it was my favorite because I love doing videos and editing and shooting and just everything about it. My favorite was when I did the web page because it incorporated pretty much everything. Video, um, the best because we learned a lot. We had a lot of people from broadcast and they helped us and I actually apply it in my newspaper class and I really learned a lot. I liked it a lot. The most challenging part was just trying to learn how to use each technology properly and take, take advantage of all of its utility and get the most out of it that I could. Sometimes we didn't have enough time to, uh, to shoe and like just the work schedule, but I have enough time. Sometimes it fell on a date that I had an internship and I couldn't miss the internship. We would have to like contact experts for like stories we had to write. Some of them were pretty hard to contact. Some are, it was a little bit easier because they don't have other obligations and transportation was, was less of an issue. We learned a lot and and it was really, it was really cool because we learned so much and we got to do so much stuff. We, we, we talked to so much people, like professionals, and it was just really cool. Like the only thing I wanted to do going into it was to learn about science and journalism, which I did. But I also got to learn other things about like how to use the media, the programs with it, and that like will help you to get jobs in the future. It it got me more in touch with the science world and I think that was one of their goals. So I think it worked. I would do it again. I think it, it was a fun experience and I got a lot from it. Overall, I thought it was a great program. I had fun doing it. So they should keep doing this program. I would definitely recommend this to a friend. I'd take part in it again if I had the choice. And if, you're, if you really like science and you really like writing either or, you should, it's a really good shot and it looks good on college applications. <laughs>